Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to talk about the Mitsubishi programming language and how to create a basic program. The Melfa Basic 4 programming language that we use for the robots in class is a fairly simple language that has a basic command structure, requires line numbers, follows a command parameter type of format, does allow for variable declarations, and supports commenting through the use of an apostrophe. The structure of your program in general is you do your declarations, then define any variables, define your points if you want to, generate your program logic, and then have a specific end of the program. So here is an example of a fairly simple program. This was partially pulled from the user manual. The top two lines, as you can see, are where the declarations and definition of variables are. So the declaration in line 10 is for the tool, telling how far from the end of the robot arm the tool center point is. M1 is my variable. I then have my program logic, starting with a definition for where my loop exists. I do a couple of moves, I close the hand, I delay for half a second. Uh, delays are in seconds, not milliseconds or hundredths of a second. Do some moves, open the hand, wait half a second, increment my counter. If my counter is less than three, then I go back up to the loop, otherwise I complete the program. And so this is a short video showing those motions in that program running. And it does the moves, it then does the pause for the hand close, and the circular move, which is the MVC. And as you noticed, it only did it three times. The more common commands that you will use within the Melfa Basic 4 programming language are the MOV for moving in a joint mode, MVS, move in a straight line, MVC, move in a circular motion, hand open, hand close, delay, and that is in seconds, so you could do 0 0.1, 0 0.5, 3, 7, but it is in seconds. Halt stops the program at that point, and the end is the end of the program, and I found it is not strictly needed. If there is a halt, the program will stop and not try to loop. The fuller list of the motion commands only from the manual are here. So as you can see, there are a number of other actions and options available should you need it. This is a list of all of the instructions out of the manual. As you can see, there are quite a few of them. And so let's walk through an example program. This is fairly simple, similar to what you just saw. Uh, but we're going to create a program that moves through three points in a straight line fashion. It's going to repeat that process four times and then move to a fourth point when the program is done before it terminates. One of the things that I am a staunch believer in is flow charting your logic before you start trying to create your program. And the reasoning for this is if you don't, the reason for this is if you don't have a solid mental picture of what your program is doing, as the program gets more complicated, your ability to accurately and correctly program it becomes significantly reduced. So here is my flowchart for that program. As you can see, we at the top we have our our at the top we have our initiation of starting the program. Then we set our counter, move to point one, move to point two, move to point three, check to see if the count equals three. We then make a decision. as to whether we need to increment our counter, or if we're done, we can move to point four and terminate the program.
And so this is what our program actually would look like. Line 10, we are declaring our variable of M1, setting it to zero. Line 20 is our loop declaration. Line 30, 40, and 50. Lines 30, 40, and 50 are the move straight commands. Line 60 is checking to see if M1 equals three. Line 60 is checking if M1 is less than 3. If it is, then it executes line 70 and then moves on to line 80, which jumps back to my loop. Line 90 is the end of if statement. It exists there for syntax reasons, but doesn't re result in any motion. Then line 100 is the move to that fourth, uh, line 100 is move to the fourth location. Hopefully this has made sense. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. That's it for now. Thanks.